Fire, the chair recognizes Mr. Moscovich. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, thank you, generals, uh, for uh, your service uh, to the country. Uh, and echoing comments of my colleagues, I want to obviously extend my condolences to the Gold Star families here and that are were here earlier uh, and um, paying the ultimate sacrifice uh, for our country. I also want to recognize the sacrifice uh, of our colleague, Brian Mast, for his service uh, in uh, Afghanistan. Um, a lot of people on this committee do a lot of great things uh, in service to the country. Um, I want to thank our colleague, Corey Mills, who just over the weekend helped in getting people out of Haiti. Uh, and I hope, Mr. Chairman, we can soon get a classified briefing on the situation uh, going on uh, there. Uh, this obviously is a very important topic today on what happened uh, with the withdrawal from Afghanistan. Why it did not go according to what the experts uh, in the Pentagon and in our intel community believed. I think we need to know what gaps existed. I think we need to know how that happened. I need to know the lessons that were learned. And most importantly, how do we prevent something like this from happening uh, in, in the future? Um, you know, we had soldiers die over the 20 years of war, and we had soldiers die on the withdrawal. And I, I think multiple things can be true. A lot of times in this town, we like to, it's an and or kind of deal, right? It's either Trump was responsible or Biden was responsible, right? I, I actually think in Afghanistan, it's an and and, quite frankly. Uh, I think there were mistakes made in the withdrawal. Uh, I think the American people think there were mistakes made in the withdrawal. And I, I think it's okay to admit that. I mean, what, what's the opposite of that? That the withdrawal was perfect? Everything went according to plan? Um, General Miller, do you think mistakes were made uh, in either the planning uh, phases, things that we thought were going to happen that didn't happen, or things on the ground that unfolded that it, we, we didn't plan for? You think, you think mistakes were made in all of the, that thought process? There's zero doubt in my mind there were mistakes made, and that's the point of the after-action reviews. Identify those mistakes and develop solutions to implement them in the future. Um, and, and I think the fundamental mistake, fundamental flaw, uh, was the timing uh, of the State Department uh, call of the NEO. I think that was too slow and too late. Um, and that then caused a series of events that result in the, the very last couple of days. There's a lot of other mistakes that are made along the way. I try to cover them in a written statement that, that, to, to submit to you guys. Uh, but I think that was, you know, germane to this particular hearing. I think that was, that was key. I think that was fundamental. Yeah, and reading the dissent cable, um, which I won't discuss here, but, I mean, do you think some of the intelligence that, you know, you all used, uh, our military leaders sure. used? I think the, the, for the intel, for the intelligence, uh, we pulled off in the summer of 20. So when we went to 8,600 in accordance with the Doha Agreement, uh, and then you drop from 86 to 45. You're pulling advisors off the so-called Kandax, the battalion, the Afghan battalions. What that then means is we don't have a fingertip touch for the, what's going on in the Afghan security forces. We couldn't see. We blinded ourselves when you pull those advisors off. So we relied on electronic means or technological means in order to be able to see what's happening with the Afghan security forces. But technology can't read a person's heart. They can't see the the negotiation that's going on locally between the Taliban and the local Afghan. So we lost our ability to really sense that environment with a degree of granularity that could make better predictions than what was turned out. And I think that's true of the intelligence community and the military writ large, et cetera. Uh, so I think that was a major gap, was our ability to see into uh, what was happening on the ground because we pulled our advisors out, and, and that's going to happen when you pull advisors off. And, and there's no doubt that mistakes were made by multiple administrations over 20 years um, that I'm sure uh, we'll, we can point to when the full after action review is completed. You think it was a mistake by the previous president to invite the Taliban, which you call a terrorist organization, to Camp David? I, I won't comment on that. That's a political act, and I'll stay out of that. I, 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 but on mistakes, if, I, I think one of the key ones, to be very candid with you, is the, the development of the ANSF writ large, which begins, of course, in early 2000s. And I was part of that, Frank was part of that, and many of us were part of that. Uh, the number of security forces were too small. 
Uh, we had estimated, we the military estimated, we needed six to 700,000. Decisions were made by the bond agreement to, to field them at 350,000. Half of those were police, and they were completely un, un, uh, not designed well for a counterinsurgency type of bond. So you're looking at about 175,000 army, and the Taliban had fielded about 100,000 Taliban. So your force ratios, your correlation of forces between the insurgent and the regime forces uh, was always balanced more in favor of the Taliban. And then they had a sanctuary over in Pakistan. These were decisions from 04, 05, and 03, that kind of thing. But they have second and third and fourth order consequences to the outcome of this war. So by the end of the day, the Taliban uh, or the uh, ANSF, there was mirror imaging going on. We tried to build the conventional army. We didn't build their commandos and special forces till late. Uh, there's a whole series of these that go way back uh, in time that ultimately end up in a collapse of the Afghan security forces under intense pressure by the Taliban in the summer of 21. Thank you, General. My General time has expired. expired. Chair recognizes 